Hello, this is Mindy from the Weekend Gardener, and today I'd like to give you a gardening tip. Now this is a unique setting by which to do a gardening video, but there is a lesson to be learned in this type of setting. As you can tell in the background, there's been a, some type of disaster, and actually what happened was a wood pile caught on fire and burned up wood and pots and a bunch of other materials. In doing so, it affected this tree. It actually burned the leaves. That's why they're crunchy. This is not fall. This is just premature aging, so to speak, of the tree. Now, most people would look at this tree and just automatically assume it was dead and level it to the ground. But I'm going to teach you a surefire way to see if your tree is alive, whether it's gone through a disaster like this or whether it's looking sickly and you want to see parts that you need to remove that are dead versus parts that are alive. Now the easiest way to tell if the tree is still alive is to do a scratch test. And what that consists of is taking your thumbnail and scraping the bark. Now this doesn't hurt the tree and you're doing it in small areas. And you're just going to move, remove the top layer of bark. If it's green, and sometimes it'll be a really bright green, and sometimes it'll be more of a dull green. That means the tree is still alive. If it's a dark brown or a tan color, and you continue to scratch and you can't find any green areas, that means that branch is dead. Before you take down any tree, because trees are so important to the ecosystem, make sure that you check in several locations and check the trunk to make sure that, yes, indeed, that tree is dead before you remove it. So regardless if it's a natural disaster or a man-made disaster, always follow these tips and never just assume that the tree is dead. So until we meet in the garden again, this has been Mindy from The Weekend Gardener.